Hi, welcome to my channel. What I wanted to talk about today is something called DI versus SIADH. It can be really confusing, right? Diabetes insipidus versus syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. Let's try to make this a little more simple to understand. So, diabetes insipidus. The way I remember diabetes insipidus is diabetes I'm sipping this because they're very thirsty. They are peeing a lot. They have decreased antidiuretic hormone decreased antidiuretic hormone because what's a diuretic diuretics make us pee a lot right that's what the purpose is so we have a hormone called antidiuretic hormone that tells us hey you don't have to pee so much that's kind of how I remember this diabetes insipidus diabetes I'm sipping this they have decreased antidiuretic hormone so they have polyuria because of this decreased antidiuretic hormone they have a low urine specific gravity because it's kind of just water. Inside of our bodies, what's happening? We're pushing all this water out, but we're retaining the salt. We're not really grabbing the salt with the water and taking it out. So our bodies are hypernatremic, right? It's kind of like Kool-Aid. If you put a mountain of Kool-Aid uh, powder in a glass, and then you pour some water on it, you're gonna have a ton of Kool-Aid. So we're taking out the water and leaving the salt. Um, so they're hypernatremic. They have a high serum osmolarity. And what is serum osmolarity? The normal serum osmolarity is just really two times our sodium. So um, the normal is really like 270 to 290, which makes sense, right? Because sodium is 135 to 145. So they have hypernatremia, which goes hand in hand with high serum osmolarity. So what are the causes of diabetes insipidus? A lot of times it's head problem. Um, more so than SIADH. What are the complications? The big complication here is hypovolemic shock, severe dehydration. So they go into a shock state because they don't have enough fluid in the tank to really perfuse. They go into a hypovolemic shock. What is the treatment? We gotta give them antidiuretic hormone. A lot of times it's DDAVP to help them start to retain urine, stop just putting it out so much. Uh, and the other thing is fluids. We gotta fill up the tank now. We wanna prevent that hypovolemic shock. The other uh, end of this, diabetes insipidus versus SIADH. So SIADH is syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. The best thing that I was ever told in the lecture was why did they name it that? They should have named it syndrome of increased antidiuretic hormone. And I loved that. One of the best things I've ever heard. Syndrome of increased antidiuretic hormone. Now everything starts to make sense. So they have more antidiuretic hormone. What's happening there? If they have more antidiuretic hormone, they're putting out less urine. The kidneys are retaining water, right? So now what happens to our body, the Kool-Aid? We have more water. So we have a ton of water and we put some Kool-Aid and we just add a ton of water, right? So now it's really diluted. So their serum sodium is low. They are hyponatremic, and they have a low serum osmolarity. So those are the values with SIADH. It's opposite of diabetes insipidus. They have a high urine-specific gravity. So what are the causes of it? I'm basically quoting Laura Gasparis word for word when I say, oat cell carcinoma, viral pneumonia, head problems, and anesthesia are often the causes of SIADH. Um, What's the complications? Our big fear here is that there's gonna be seizures because we have fluid shifting uh, in and out of the cells, uh, mainly into the cells. We can get water going into the brain and uh, cause seizures then. And uh, what's the treatment for this? We gotta restrict their fluid intake. So they get on a fluid restriction um, because we would be causing overhydration. They're not putting this fluid out why are we gonna add it in? And then we gotta give them hypertonic solutions. So we want to bring this water outside of the cells. Water travels from areas of low concentration to high concentration, right? So we want to get a hypertonic solution to get the water, to draw the water out of the cells and get it out of the system. So that's SIADH versus diabetes insipidus. Hopefully that cleared some of it up and uh, have a great day. <laughs>